Having the opportunity to work with owners of both Super Bowl teams to me signifies a strong correlation of both health and success. They may not consider yourself an elite status, but then today you are. You have a job, you have a family, and you also have a duty to show up and be your best. Now, we all want to have fun today and enjoy the game, but today reality kicks in. Tomorrow's Monday morning, and you got to get back to work. So let's set yourself up for success. There's strategy, there's planning, but there's also biohacking involved for your game plan to get the best out of not only feeling better, but performing better the rest of this week. So let's dive right in. We all know that Super Bowl is going to bring a lot of good taste in food, but a lot of it's inflammatory to the body. Either way, you're going to do it, so let's just be smart about it and see how to deaden some of the effects of what you feel afterwards, right? So when we think about it, a lot of like such as chicken, maybe your chicken wings, maybe alcohol, either way, they have a lot of oxalates that are inflammatory to the body, but also cause more pain. So we can be smart about this and say, what can I do to set myself up so I'm not experiencing so much afterwards? This will affect your energy, your pain, but also your ability to perform throughout the week. So we'll look at pregame. What can I do pregame? There are a lot of different supplements or different foods you can throw in there. It just depends on what you have access to. Some simple things that I would think about. Obviously, the first one that pretty much everyone knows about is hydration. Now, you don't want to just take any hydration. You want something that's got electrolytes properly balanced in there because if you just drink, and obviously drink a lot of water, but if you drink too much water, you dilute a lot of those electrolytes. So then you get those muscle cramps. So that's why you want a good hydration drink in the mix. Set yourself up for success. The body's 70% water. So again, we get too dehydrated. It just messes with our head. Another great strategy for eliminating a lot of those, what they call the oxalates that are inflammatory to the body, is through enzymes or other foods that actually break it up. So you may have lemon, you may have apple cider vinegar. This helps go in there and again, mitigate all those oxalates from the foods or drinks that you're having to help deaden some of those effects. Again, so less pain, you feel better, more energy, everything works better, right? You may also have some kind of sea salt, which is very important. Uh, some kind of enzymes, again, setting yourself up for success, breaking down some of the foods. Or even you're going a little bit step above and saying, I'm going to take a prebiotic for the alcoholic drinks so that the acetic aldehyde doesn't break down in the body and you have more inflammation that's causing brain fog, maybe fatigue, headaches, that kind of stuff, the hangover that you don't want the next day because, again, you got to go back to work. So that's all pregame. During game, this is important because you want to make it to the fourth quarter, right? So what you want is something to mitigate the toxins, so maybe some kind of charcoal to bind to those toxins. But another hack when you're eating carbs is to add in a healthy fat. Avocados are a great source. There's other healthy fats out there, but you throw this in with the mix of the carbs. It helps, in a way, mitigate some of those uh, carbs floating within the, the blood. Anyways, you're not control, you're not getting in so much of those blood glu the blood glucose as far as the sugar levels stored because of the fats are helping break some of it up. So it's a good strategy also anytime you're having carbs with your meal is to have some kind of healthy fat with it. Again, being smart during the game, but then post-game, this is where it's at. Because typically this is where it hits. This is after the game, you're starting to feel it. You know, you're realizing, okay, all these foods, these drinks, it's probably going to mess with your sleep. So what can I do to, again, mitigate some of that, detox the body to go in there and get rid of some of these toxins? So you may have a, a good cleanse on hand to go in there and cleanse out these toxins. But also chlorella is a great way, again, to go in there, pull that alcohol, pull those carbs in a way to detoxify the body. So again, you don't feel that hangover, the cruddy feeling the next day of low, uh, low energy, irritability, inflammation, pain, and again, you're just being strategic when it comes to your overall human function performance. So understanding your game plan to success, a lot of times it's not going out there and not enjoying the activity itself. It's actually just knowing what steps to take in preparation for it. So you either do something before, you do something during, and you do something after. It's no different than a, you're going to do an activity such as a workout, maybe the obviously the games day, everyone's going to have a warm-up. They've got to prep themselves for the game. They're going to do something during the game. They're going to do something after the game. So this is your actual routine or your roadmap to success. Following that game plan is going to be doing the same thing. What is your warm-up? How are you prepping the body for success? What are you doing during the game? But also, what are you doing after the game? Again, to not only improve how you feel, but how you perform and be strategic when it comes to your overall human function and performance.